Hi everyone, it's Justine. Recently I saw several videos on YouTube by British ladies who share their stay in Provence, in the south of France, very close to where I come from. And as I was watching those videos, I could literally hear the crickets singing in the fields, I could smell the lavender, and I thought, I'm gonna miss all this this summer because I'm not going. And it made me feel a bit nostalgic. So I built a mood board to remind me of everything I like when I'm there in summer. And I will now try to make you feel the way I feel when I look at it. The first thing I associate with my region is nature. Long beaches with sandy hills where reeds and wooden fences are planted to prevent the wind from carrying all the sand away. The wind is everywhere and it smells like salty water. The region is very flat, so the wind can come from all 32 possible directions and each wind direction has a name in the traditional Occitan language. I used to know the 32 names by heart. <laughs> the wind constantly blows all the clouds away, which leaves the sky completely blue, an intense blue, during the whole summer. Camargue is a preserved area, so wild animals can live there in peace. Flamingos love to dip one foot into the ponds and keep the other one up when they're sleeping. You know it's summer when they're pink. It comes from the mini shrimps that they eat. Those shrimps only exist when the salt is ready to be gathered from the salt fields. Once the salt and the shrimps are gone, flamingos go back to being grey and you know summer is over. You will also see a specific type of horse there, a white one. It is used by our bull boys. Instead of cows, here we raise bulls which participate in arena games, but they don't get killed at the end of the game. Lavender grows here everywhere. In summer, with the heat, the fragrance becomes more intense, so the wind smells like lavender when you get close enough to a field. Once harvested, the lavender is transformed into perfume, essential oils, soaps, or is dried and kept for later use. There aren't many trees that remain green in summer because of the heat. There is the long and thin cypress, which usually grows crooked in one direction because of the wind. And there is the plane tree, stretching its branches to give shade along the roads and in the villages. Shade is our friend. In the middle of the day, the heat is too intense to stand in the sun. So people hide in houses with thick walls made of yellow sandy stones. Inside, the air is always cooler. In each village, there is a main square with at least one cafe with a terrace to sit outside. The tables and the chairs are always turned towards the street or the square, so you can observe people and wave when you see someone you know. I love to sit there. As soon as the sun goes down behind the houses, people come out and socialize or play pétanque. The loser pays the drinks. But my favorite summer drink is kir. It's a little bit of crème de cassis, which is a liqueur, mixed with a big bit of white wine from the region. And if you replace the white wine with champagne, then it's a cure royale. Tapenade is a dip made with olives. They grow everywhere. By the texture of the tapenade, I can tell if it was made here. It's delicious on fresh bread. Fruits taste really good here. So I love to put them, for example, in salads with pine seeds and olive oil, or I'll eat them at 4 p.m. And in my village specifically, we make a sweet fugas for dessert, which has a few drops of orange blossom water in it. It tastes as good as it smells and it's perfect with coffee. I feel like this dessert has the smell of Provence, brought by the wind. There is always wind. It's here even on the days when you wish it wasn't. It brings the smell of the rain before it even starts raining, and it brings back memories of the day after the day's over. In the south of France, time goes by, but the wind stays. Thank <laughs> you.